morning, guys. Good morning. A lot of longs out there getting liquidated that last night, eh? All right, let's have a look, guys, at the market sideways. Good DCA opportunities, guys. I will be scooping some up today. Uh, members, keep an eye out for my buy orders. BTC is down to 40,500. Could drop as low as 48, uh, sorry, 38. Uh, possibly, possibly, unlikely, but possibly even as low as 31.8. But uh, we'll see what happens. Some good DCA chances out there right now. SEI down to 59 cents. Good opportunities, guys. Fantastic. What else do we got? Jasmine down five and a half. Um, you know, just a, just a mixed bag of uh, of redness today, guys. Everything's kind of down. Uh, nothing to write home about. Nothing too special. But uh, anyway, let's uh, let's get into it here. Shout out to the latest member, Tony Bennett. Thank you for joining. Thank you for your support, my friend. Grayscale Bitcoin holdings decline after ETF's approval. In a recent update on Grayscale, it has been revealed that the crypto asset management giant currently holds approximately 566,973 Bitcoin, with a total value of $23.21 billion. However, this represents a significant decrease of around 52,227 BTC, equivalent to approximately 2.14 billion. Since the approval of the Bitcoin uh, ETF, the development has captured this development has captured the attention of the crypto community and investors worldwide. In addition to Grayscale's uh, Bitcoin holdings, other prominent financial institutions have also disclosed their Bitcoin holdings, iShares, and, and subsidiaries of BlackRock. Uh, holds 33,431 BTC valued at 1.37 billion. Fidelity, a well-known asset management company, has reported holding 24,857 Bitcoin uh, with a total of $102 billion. Bitwise, a cryptocurrency asset manager, holds 10,152 Bitcoin amounting to $415.6 million. These revelations highlight the increasing interest in institutional players in the cryptocurrency market. In a separate development, the cryptocurrency market is witnessing a significant surge in the popularity of Bitcoin exchange-traded funds. This tweet suggests, uh, suggests these ETFs are experiencing unprecedented inflows. With a staggering $1.2 billion in net inflows recorded in just six days. The surge in Bitcoin's ETFs is further, uh, uh, is further underscored by the remarkable daily average of approximately 4,762 Bitcoin flowing into these funds. This substantial influx of capital reflects the growing demand for Bitcoin exposure through ETFs. Uh, which offers a more accessible and regulated investment avenue for both institutional and retail investors. As of the as of the latest update, uh, the price of BTC stands at forty thousand seven hundred and eleven dollars per Bitcoin. This figure indicates a prevailing market value of Bitcoin and highlights its significance in the cryptocurrency ecosystem. The rising price uh, price and increased institutional interest have led a surge in demand for the B Bitcoin ETFs. Uh, the, the tweet underscores a critical trend in the cryptocurrency market. Demand for Bitcoin is outstripping supply at an accelerated pace. With institutional players like Grayscale, BlackRock, iShares, Fidelity, and Bitwise holding significant amounts of Bitcoin, the market dynamics have evolved dramatically. This highlighted demand for Bitcoin can be attributed to several factors, including increased acceptance of cryptocurrencies as an asset class, growing uh, macro macroeconomically uh, uh, macroeconomic uncertainty, sorry, um, and the desire for portfolio uh, diversification. As more institutions and investors seek exposure to Bitcoin, the demand for regulated investment vehicles like ETFs continues to surge. The cryptocurrency market is currently witnessing a notable shift in institutional investment patterns, 
Grayscale's declining Bitcoin holdings offer the ETF approval and substantial inflows into Bitcoin ETFs illustrate the changing dynamics of the crypto space. The accelerating demand for Bitcoin and the rising price emphasizes the, uh, the cryptocurrency's growing importance in the global financial landscape. So guys, the reason that the amount of uh, BTC is decreasing uh, for Grayscale is because, uh, I mentioned this before in a, in a video a few days ago, they kept their fee uh, at 1.5% which has caused a lot of people to sell off their uh, BTC trusts uh, to move over to somewhere like BlackRock where the fees are significantly lower. So, and every time somebody uh, sells their Bitcoin trust, uh, well, Grayscale has to actually sell the physical Bitcoin. So that's why we've had a little bit of a uh, of sell pressure in the market causing prices to go down. And that's why the decreased amount in BTC holdings uh, for Grayscale have been going down as well. So just something to uh, take note of, guys. If you're ever wondering why prices are going down and you can't figure it out, I got you covered, right? Hit the like button, guys. Smash the subscribe button. Uh, let's keep this channel growing, baby. Uh, check out LBank, the channel sponsor. Do your spot leverage and copy trading. No, K no KYC required. And if you want to support the channel, guys, become a member, just like uh, just like Tony Bennett here, become a member of the channel, and uh, you know you get in early on microcap gems. Uh, we did two members only gems videos yesterday, and one of them is already up over a hundred percent, and it's got a long way to go still. So you don't want to miss these uh, these massive opportunities to make money. Um, one of our members just messaged me yesterday and told me on the play, one of the plays we called a few days ago, he's up $5,000 on it. Uh, so definitely guys, that's where you want to be. Yeah. Uh, and it's only $4 to, uh, to be a member guys, four bucks a month. Imagine paying four bucks a month to be a member and making $5,000 profit on one trade, right? Kind of worth it in my opinion, but that's up to you, right? Let me know, guys. Uh, smash the subscribe button once again and uh, join the Discord. It's absolutely free, guys. So join the community and join the conversation. I'll see you in the next one.